Hello everyone, this is Crypto Maximalist. Welcome back to another video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and get involved if you like the content. We're currently running a giveaway for those who are liking our videos, so give the video a like if you want to be entered into that giveaway. So we're just taking a look at VeChain here and as we can see, looking like we have come down and lost that swing, basically the swing low of the, uh, the range that we have been chopping up in for a good while here. You can see obviously the high, the low, the high, and then we come down, we lose the low here, forming another little range that a lot of cryptos have been trading inside of over the past week or so, ever since we saw that low come in. And you could say, you know, realistically for VeChain, you're probably forming a little bit of a range, maybe something like this. Where you have your high, your low and your high, you come down, you get the overextension of the low, you come back inside the range here and we back tested it again. But, you know, realistically, VeChain probably more like looking like it is just chopping to the downside like this. And you're probably expecting it to come down and retest the lows again after, you know, coming back. We've come down here, come back up and retested that previous support as resistance. We've come down, made a new swing low, currently in a downtrend again. And looking like we do need to see ourselves come down, retest a low and get a bounce up really here to form a proper range. But overall VeChain, you know, looking quite bearish in the short term. In terms of the daily time frame there, you can see just how ridiculous these bullish divergences are getting now. Lower lows on the price action, high lows on the RSI. I mean, the MACD right now. It's still green, still bullish, massive, massive lo loss of momentum to the downside for the bears at the minute. We do think that, you know, this thing is kind of like a ticking time bomb, let's be honest. Everyone's so fearful right now and the people are shorting the bottom. People are getting very greedy in the bearish sentiment. We do think sooner rather than later, this could easily be, you know, having a big explosion to the upside. I mean, look at this RSI. It's absolutely ridiculous how overextended this is to the downside considering you know, the, the RSI right now is just nowhere near oversold really in comparison to back here. So you can see price trying to force itself to the downside, but realistically we do think, you know, we're probably going to see a pickup for the, in the near future, we would say for crypto in general, considering the amount of these that we are seeing. But in terms of VeChain, very simply, we've got some targets up here that need to be met. Obviously getting up, up above this swing high, getting up back up above, above you know, towards that two cent level at the very least, up towards that 2.2 cent resistance that does need to be hit. But if we do roll over, obviously the target will be down here at that 1.8 cent level at that swing low. So. so that's it for today, guys. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to check out the links in the description below to support the channel. Grab yourself some free money bonuses, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.